All right, everybody, today we are here to discuss ground force and how we can use the ground better throughout our swing to make sure that we get all that power, all that speed and all that distance out of our shots from the ground and how we connect to it. So let's look at this. So ground forces is really what we refer to as the power and force that we generate by working our way into and away from the ground throughout our golf swing. And in order to do that correctly, we need to understand how we can apply this to our golf swing. So at first I want to talk about high jumping. So if you're a high jumper or not a high jumper, if you're anybody who wants to jump high, you want to make sure that you don't start low and just jump out out of a static position, right? So if I'm going to put my club back here to show this, if you want to jump super high, the highest you can jump, you're not just going to start down here, right? And you sit here and then you try to jump up. That doesn't give you the most force. When you look at jumpers and high jumpers, people that are good at jumping, they actually go up, down, up. That's really what's going to give you this up, down, up is what's going to give you the most force and the most speed because you're doing a dynamic motion out of a dynamic motion. You don't just start stagnant and then you have to force your you have to force your speed up. You don't have to just go from nothing to 100. So with that in mind, the golf swing is very similar. So let's grab our club and see how this applies to your actual swing. So in your swing, we want to make sure that we use the ground forces as we're going through impact. We don't want to use them so much in the backswing. We want to build it up in the backswing and set it up in the backswing so we can actually use them as we're going through the ball. So it'll translate that force right into our ball directly. So what I mean with this, I want to show you. Going back, we want to make sure that the spine almost extends a little bit as we're coiling up, right? So you're engaging your core, you're flexing your, your thighs and you're really stable on the bottom. And then you are coiling back and it's almost like a little bit of an upward motion. And then as you're coming into your transition and your pivot, you're going to then kind of squat into the ground and explode out of it right through and after impact. See how I go up, down, up. And that is how you can truly use the ground forces best in your golf swing. So we don't want to just sit down in the backswing like this and then jump up because as you see what happens here is you're going to then jump up too early, you're going to extend early and you're going to move to your center further away from the ball as you're coming through impact and you don't want to do that. Actually staying lower and getting lower in this up, down, up motion is going to be very helpful for you to keep your ankles and your lag and your hands closer to your body. So we're going to do up, down, see how I have to, because I'm going down a little bit, I actually have to keep those angles here. And if I early extended, I would hit the ground. So it forces you to really keep those hands angled and be able to release the club, hold that lag and then explode up from the ground. So if you've been wondering how to best use the ground to translate force into your swing and make sure you hit the longest drives ever, then this is what you should try. Make sure you think about that up, down, up motion and not just go down and load in the backswing, but prepare in the backswing for your down motion through impact and then exploding out of your swing, out of your impact to give you guys the most distance and the most power.